morning all. We had a bit of snow this morning and now it's brightening up. Um, I made yogurt yesterday and uh, I'm so pleased with it, I had to show you. Look how thick it is. I don't think I've ever made it this thick before. There's a bit of way on the top, but look at that. Oh, it smells yummy. Oh, that smells lovely. So I do have a tutorial on my YouTubes for this, but it's so easy. You basically, you pour a, um, I think it's a litre. What is it? I need to check my, I need to check. It's 568 millilitres, which is basically a pint. So round that up or round that down. Then you heat that up in a saucepan slowly to 80 degrees. Then you allow it to cool down to 45 degrees. And then you stir in 60 mils of yogurt so, or 60 grams of live yogurt. Give it a good stir, pour it into your vessel and put it somewhere warm for about 12 hours. So I had this on top of my boiler with a towel over it. Um, and then you get yogurt. Brilliant is that, and it hands on times hardly any. And uh, sorry about the noise in the background, but that is, uh, I've put the dishwasher on a cleaning cycle. I'm having a pretty perfect day today. I've been looking forward to it all week because I knew it was going to be really busy at the start of the week. And then today, because the boiler's been leaking water and we weren't sure if it had come down the flue because of the torrential rain we've been having or from the boiler itself. So <coughs> I knew I was going to have to stay in all day waiting for the boiler which meant I wasn't going to go anywhere and I hadn't planned to see anybody and I'd just have a day to myself, no one knocking at the door, nothing other than the boiler man. So he's been and gone now and mended the boiler in pretty quick time and I did half of my ironing while he was here. So that was great and um, then I've just been for a dog walk and um, I don't know, it's just so nice to flow through the day. Wash my woolens. These are um, socks I knitted ages ago, sparkle yarn. They're the Candy Floss socks by Emily. Yarn Brary. So pretty. Can't remember who the yarn was by. I think it was by Somerset Yarns, who I believe is quite local to me. I think she's in Clevedon. I popped an afterthought heel in, but it's actually 
it's not an afterthought heel at all it's a toe and it's the barn toe and it works really well as a heel for me just have to put a few rows in before you start your decreases this sock is um, dandelion and dogwood yarn lipstick and lingerie and this is just a vanilla sock again with this cable um, cuff which was from Emily's candy floss pattern and this afterthought heel is basically an umbrella toe but I don't think I don't think I got it from um, Kay who calls it a baby uh, an umbrella toe I don't think I got it from her one of her patterns because I hadn't bought one of her patterns at that point so I think I just googled different knitting toes knitted toes and that I don't know what that is that just looks like one I've made up this sock is the prairie sock by the bakery bears by Kay Jones um, I can't remember if I followed her sock pattern for the heel as well looks like it's just a heel flap and gusset with no it's not even where was I uh yeah normal slip stitch heel flap and gusset going on with that one. Oh, the yarn was dyed by nor george it was called where winter roses grow and i got it in my so sweet violet valentine so sweet violet advent calendar the first year that she did one so 2019, 2000, 2017. Then I've got my boxer. Still haven't cut my sleeves off. Um, I thought I'd wear it again with the sleeves, just just to make sure, you know. So um, I'm not sure the best way of drying this. I think on the back of the sofa. Still haven't sewed the ends in on that. Um, and finally. Finally, for now, I have washed the dark knitted woolens, so I'll record that and put it on tomorrow's video because this might be a little bit much sock talk. Sock talk, as the grocery girls would say. So these are my Aria socks. These were a test knit for Emily, the Ombrary Salt City Knits. And this was the first... Is this the first lace I did? Yeah, it was the first lace I did properly and the first lace chart that I followed. It gave me so much confidence. Aren't they lovely? This is a heel flap and gusset, but with a slip stitch heel. And um, I followed the instructions exactly because it was a test knit and they just turned out, they're just so lovely. I absolutely love them, Aria socks. And the yarn is, again, by Emily. It's Louisa May Olcott. And uh, it's beautiful, like a creamy pink lilac. Really lovely. I need to have some lunch. I think I'm gonna get some soup out of the freezer. Thai butternut squash probably. Um, check what the time is and um, I've got some badmin to do. It's a good job these vlogs are coming to an end. I'm boring. <laughs> Thank you.
I just want to do my knitting, but I have got so many onions that have accumulated from my veg box that it is time to do a big old sweat down of them and make a French onion soup, but also keep some back in the freezer. So for those recipes that need slowly sweated down onions, I am prepared. This is how I tackle my onions. <laughs> I need to think that this morning there was snow and now it's blue skies. Not beautiful. I just wanted to show you this. Okay, so this is a bit of leftover pastry from um, the ugly pie I made the other day, which actually on camera didn't look that ugly and did taste nice. And inside is some chicken leftover from Sunday roast and some bacon, some stock, creme fraiche, stock cube, I think. Um, and I've made it into this pasty that reminds me of a river, a riverbed fish. And I'm gonna say, it's beautiful. I've done a really good job. <laughs> I don't know what it is with us Brits, but it's been pointed out to me a couple of times that we don't, um, we put ourselves down a lot. But I think you can agree. That's wrong. Honey looking pasty. <laughs> Let's take a look at the ugly pie. Oh, badgers. It's lost its guts. <laughs> Nearly done though. And the onions are looking good for a French onion soup. Well, yeah, they look like throw up, but um, spew. <laughs> but, oh, I love French onion soup. It's gonna be gorgeous. I've just turned on my twinkle lights. Oh, gosh, I really need to have a good sort out in this kitchen. It's um actually horrendous. Poor Toby's going to come home from having had a long day at the office and he's going to come in to this. He's not going to feel serene and pleased to be home, is he? Oh, no, he's going to come in and go, oh, he won't say anything, but can't be nice. Right, I'm going to tidy it up. <laughs> Good wife. <laughs> 